I just met this amazing woman. Range Wilson. While I was living at the bachelor pad near Venice Beach, I enjoyed walking along the beach late at night. Most nights I had the beach to myself, but sometimes there would be other people around. One night I encountered a group of young adults who were wondering if it was okay to take off their clothes and go for a swim. I told them not only was it okay, but that I would be happy to lead the way. They encouraged me to prove it. What could I do but get naked? As I was doing so, they told me they had just arrived from the Midwest and were eager to swim in the ocean for the very first time. There were four or five guys in the group and one very attractive young lady named Brandy. The guys quickly joined me in getting naked, but Brandy was more reluctant. So I did my best to make her feel comfortable with the idea. Finally, Brandy decided to strip off all her clothes. She flounced into the ocean completely naked, then ran back and forth through the shallow water along the shoreline. After getting her exercise for the evening, she ended up next to me and we chatted for a while. But then a large wave appeared out of the darkness headed straight towards us. I quickly positioned myself to catch Brandy, doing my best not to grab any sensitive body parts in the process. But now that the surf was rising, it was time to head back to shore. I continued chatting with the group as we got dressed, then we said our goodbyes and I simply headed home. I had done my part to broaden the horizons of the younger generation, and that was enough adventure for me. In fact, I was starting to think about ramping down my adventures in general. The whole alpha male gig had been fun, but I was feeling the need for something more substantial. So the next time I headed over to Beachwoods, it was with a different mindset than in the past. Instead of looking for a hookup, I was looking for a relationship, and I found it with a woman named Louisa. Like myself, Louisa had a job in Hollywood, working in post-production at Sony. We shared a passion for life that was unusual even for Hollywood. That night we spent a long time talking, but we were not about to stop there. Louisa was naturally frisky, just like myself, and we ended up making out at the bar. Then when the bar closed, we ended up making out outside the bar. Finally, it was time to wrap things up. We made plans to meet for brunch the next day. Then she and her friend dropped me off at the bachelor pad. I burst inside and announced, I just met this amazing woman. My housemates got a kick out of that, given my previous attitude. But I really felt like Louisa and I could have something special. The next morning, I headed out to Malibu to meet Louisa for Sunday brunch. We enjoyed an excellent meal, then headed over to Broad Beach for an early afternoon stroll. The public access pathways to this beach are narrow and well hidden, which helps to keep it pleasant and uncrowded. Once we made it to the beach, we enjoyed strolling past some of the most expensive real estate in the world. Then we headed back to my place for some quality private time. Louisa did not feel ready for sex, but I was in no particular rush, and we found other ways to keep each other entertained. Later that night, we ended up strolling on Venice Beach, and once again Louisa got very frisky. As far as the relationship went, all the lights were green, as far as I could see. But it did not take long for yellow lights to start popping up. Over the next several weeks, Louisa and I continued to spend time together, but I was having trouble getting her to open up about her personal life. Whenever I asked about her living situation, she would give me vague or contradictory answers. I could not help but wonder if she was looking at me as an escape hatch from some kind of difficult situation. In the meantime, we could not seem to click in bed. Every time we had sex, it was uncomfortable. In fact, I would have to characterize the sex as bad and to my mind, there is nothing more overrated than bad sex. I'm still not sure why we had so much trouble. Neither one of us seemed to have any obvious hang-ups. It was just that when one of us wanted to zig, the other wanted to zag. I'd like to think that we could have worked through those kinds of issues eventually, but the relationship continued to get stranger and stranger. Then, one day Louisa called me, told me she had given away all her stuff, and asked if she could move in with me. That idea was a complete non-starter for all sorts of reasons. At that point, I realized I had to let Louisa go. Tune in next time to find out what happened when I was the one who ended up having to move. Until then, regular viewers, please like, comment, and or share. 
New viewers, please click the icon to subscribe, the playlist to catch up on my life videos, or watch a video that YouTube has picked for you personally. My name is Range Wilson and I'll see you next time.